Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I see a lot of questions about uh, folks running the S-Power line boring machine and you know talking about self-aligning boring uh, bars or trying to get bearings that essentially you can line up to be perfectly square because I know the, the bearings that come with it, they're essentially fixed with you know the cones. You take the cones, you fit it into a hole and what, whatever way it lines up is kind of the way that it is. And uh, I just figured I'd talk about the self-aligning bearings that I designed here. Um, I took the idea from uh, John Johnson uh, off of uh, Johnson Trades on YouTube. Kind of did it, you know, my own way, my own sort of thing, but just figured I'd walk everybody through it and see if it's something that you guys want to do. So this is just a standard bearing. You can get it off uh, Amazon there. 50 millimeter for the uh, boring bar. You've got your little set screws there to lock it in. Pretty standard. Uh, here it's about a one inch thick piece of steel and uh, I would recommend you know probably running at least that thickness just because even though it is incredibly heavy you do want something very rigid that's why most of the uh, bearings you see are very thick steels you need the rigidness and there's just a couple blocks here on either side that I have tapped to allow the bearing to move back and forth in any which way. Uh, these bolts, there are holes that are drilled through the block here. And then the backing plate, uh, these are essentially tapped. And the holes that are drilled into this larger plate here are slightly oversized. So it allows the bearing to move as you can see, if these were backed off a little bit more, you'd get a little bit more movement. So you've got a little bit of up and down and side to side play, which allows you to essentially dial in uh, your bearing alignment to make it absolutely perfect. Uh, so, you know, you get set up with your centering cones. You have these on here. I have these tapped for the regular legs. This might be a little bit of extra weight for the regular legs, but I've also drilled just standard holes that, holes that don't have any um, taps in them. Just if I wanted to run my own custom legs. And, uh, yeah, so that way that allows you to tack this up, you know, put a little bit of adjustment into your bearings. Uh, I can't remember exactly how oversized the holes are. It's not much. You know, you get maybe, I don't know, off the top of my head, you're probably talking half of inch, half an inch of play in either direction. Let me see if I can back these off and just give you guys an idea of how much play there is. So I'd say about a half an inch. But uh, it's not the only way to do it. Uh, it's just the way that I did it. There's guys out there with a lot more complex setups, you know, with set screws that push on the bearings or, you know, a lot more intricate. But for somebody who doesn't have a plasma table or, you know, really expensive equipment, this is just a way to get some flat steel. If you got a torch or a grinder, you can cut these up, you know, tap some holes. And it's relatively straightforward layout. So... I just figured I'd share that with everybody on the uh, self-aligning uh, bearings there. Something else I wanted to, to show everyone too were the different heads that I run. So you've got your standard S-Power, which comes with a kit. I don't really like it very much. Um, I don't like that this screws on. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain to get on and off. Uh, I've had it too where you know some of these start to gall over time. And uh, the consumables, you know, you have to buy their stuff. And I've already got Miller and Bernard consumables, which is why I made these. So this is what's plugged into the S-Power kit. I heated this with a torch and bent it a little bit more. You can see there's a little bit more of a bend versus the standard S-Power. I like that for what I do. Uh, on top of that, these pull off and these are very easy to find these Miller consumables this one was relatively easy to make you just buy an extra wand all I did was cut this end off right here 
and then uh, run a tap with the threads that I needed for the gas diffuser right over top. Thread that on and you are ready to go. So all you needed to do was heat bend it, cut that little tap off, run a tap over it, and you're golden, at least for the Miller uh, aspect. Now for some of the bigger bores, I do prefer running the Bernard consumables, which this one was similar. Heated, bent it, um, and then here I did something similar where I cut the end off and then slipped the gas diffuser on top and essentially brazed it on, as you can see, not too bad. And uh, this one I actually ran a liner in, so you can see the liner that's in there. I just took the liner out of one of the guns and cut it, pushed it through. Should get uh, better feeding out of that. And now I can run Bernard consumables. So anyway, I hope that helps some folks out there with kind of the design on self-aligning bearings and uh, different ways that you can make some of these wands to run the consumables that you want. But uh, yeah, go ahead and check out the channel, like and subscribe. I'll come out with some more videos here of other projects that are going on in the shop and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.